Hello everyone, in this video, we're going to learn how to solve this challenging math Olympiad problem from China. Before we're going to start, let's pause the video and give you a try. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so in order to solve this one, we need to find a way to factor this one. So in order to factor this one, we need to add and subtract the same amount as cube s square and s okay so we start from here s to the fifth plus s to the fourth now we need to add s q if we add s q we need to subtract s q now we add s square and then we need to subtract s square and we add s we need to subtract s and then plus one equal zero now we need to group them we look the first three terms right here. So it turned out to be S to the fifth plus S to the four plus S to the third. And then the second way we're gonna look this, this, and this. Alright, so it turned out to be when we look this one, we just factor negative side outside. So it turned out to be S Q plus s square plus s and then the last one should be plus s square plus s plus one equal zero all right so this one we just factor s q out so we factor s q so it turns out to be s square plus s plus one all right this one we just factor s out so it's turned out to be negative s now s square plus s plus one and this one we have nothing to factor we just leave it s square plus s plus one equal zero and then you see that this guy this guy and this guy have the same common factor which is s square plus s plus one so we just factor s square plus s plus one out right now the first one has s q left the second one has s negative s left and the last one has one left right if you see nothing right here which means one equal zero now this is zero product you just let each of them equal zero now case number one s square plus s plus 1 equals 0 alright so in order to solve this one we just turn this one into complete square so it turned out to be s square plus s now the first term right here we just take the middle term right here divided by 2 and u square so it could be 1 divided by 2 it could be 1 half square it could be 1 1 4 alright and then add one. Now you just add one four. You need to subtract one four. Equal zero. All right. So this guy turn out to be the first three terms right here. This become this square. So it's gonna be s plus one half square. This guy turn out to be three four. Now you know that equal zero so this is no solution because this guy always rate less than equal zero so if you add three four so this the whole thing must be rate less than equal three over four three over four rate than zero so it's never be equal zero now let's move on to the next one for this one s q minus s plus 1 equal 0 for this cubic equation uh, we can't factor this equation because we cannot use the rational root theorem to find the solution so we need to use a calculator to solve this equation so we need to print up the calculator uh, we need to hit y equal um, hit s q plus, oh sorry, minus s 
plus 1. Alright, and we need to find the zero. So we need to hit graph. So the zero right here, we only have one zero right here. We hit second choice. And then hit number 2. And then go to the left. Of zero, we hit enter. We need to go to the right of zero. We hit enter. And we need to go to the middle of zero. We hit enter. So it's going to be s equal negative 1.325. So s is going to be approximately negative 1.325. And this is solution. And it's a good time to stop. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember that if you fail failing to prepare, you're repairing to fail. buildings as the chemicals they take us higher the night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in